day two. This is the prophecy, Isaiah 9, verse 6. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. This is the fulfillment of the prophecy, Luke 1, verses 32 to 33. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. God promised a kingdom that will never end and a son who would rule over it. To the Israelites, who had been oppressed since the time of their forefathers, the longing for the one who would reign over all for eternity became their anchoring hope. During the time of Jesus' birth, the Israelites were under Rome's heavy shadow and the watchful eyes of the Pharisees and Sadducees. The Israelites were seeking freedom, and embedded in their scriptures was the message that God was going to send a child to deliver them from the darkness they had cast themselves into by rejecting God and going the way of the nations around them. This hope of the Messiah's reign was a welcomed battle cry against their foes. Knowing the prophecy from Isaiah promised a time when the government would rest on his shoulders and not the other nations. In the midst of that darkness, a message came to a virgin that she would bear that child. That freedom would be available to all because his kingdom will never end. He would cast off their oppressors and end the cycle of war and strife because he would be the Prince of Peace. Today's Reflection In a world that is deeply chaotic, God has given us his very Son to bring peace and hope. If you are struggling with uncertainty and hopelessness, ask God to give you peace. If you know someone is walking through a difficult and uncertain season, pray for them.